Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex Brown and welcome to my review of Serato Studio. It came out just a few days ago and I immediately had to download it and try it out. A few years ago, I did do the same thing with Serato Sample when they came out with that. If you'd like to check out that video, it'll be the first link in the description below. Also, if you'd like to download Serato Studio for yourself, I'll put that as the second link in the description below. Firstly, I'd like to tell you a little bit about what Serato Studio is and compare it a little bit with other Serato apps and Serato Sample. Serato Studio is meant to be a music production app for DJs to use. Uh, it's meant to take the Serato format and turn it into a DAW or digital audio workstation uh, that's very DJ friendly so DJs can move easily from DJing into production and have the Serato experience. Serato sample seems to be included as the sampler within Serato Studio. Now that doesn't mean that Serato sample is included the plugin itself it's just built into the software and i'll show you that so i have a little bit of drums programmed here uh, basically they've done a really nice job integrating uh, what serato has already done into this program i have loved serato sample for a long time um, i don't do a lot of sampling so i don't actually own a license for it but it is a phenomenal piece of software for making drum beats especially i absolutely love it um, especially because I'm not very good at really using like Logic, which is the software that I use to produce, uh, to put drum beats in. I did make a little kind of half track here. It's, it's nothing close to full. It's really more of a trap beat. Uh, I do like to produce more dance music, but, uh, this is just kind of the beat I was feeling as I started. And it was very easy for me to get into it with my keyboard and just type it out. Uh, I can't imagine how awesome this would be with an actual like MIDI keyboard or something. So let's take a peek at this beat that I made. I'm going to mute everything else, which is super easy. You just click this little mute button, as you would in any other DAW. So you can click away with your mouse here. That's kick. There's two kicks here. Snare. Cowbell is super easy to make a trap beat. Um, I just put in a random beat, but they do have pre made beats for you that you can go through and kind of use as a template. But I was just kind of playing around with it and came up with this one. So, super easy to add and delete. You to add, you simply just click, and now you have that inserted. So, for example, I can turn these off, and then I can add a kick back in there. Put the kick in the wrong spot, sorry. <laughs> I do also have to mention here that this is a beginner program. There's no fancy EQs or anything like that. At the same time, I think there's also some things that could be added. They do have an automator built in. If you're familiar with digital audio workstations, uh, you'll know there's a lot working with automation. It's this little robot here, and you can do it individually. You can also record it. I find their recording tool is actually quite a bit more intuitive than logic is um, for recording it's straight record over uh, it's very easy to record stuff and get it quantized correctly uh, so let me actually I'm just gonna start this filter out low as if I was on a DJ controller and you can actually use a controller to do this as well and now you'll see if I play this back it'll do the same thing see it right there it's moving so if you want to control an individual say that open hi-hat here uh, you have the individual volume control here so you can actually bring the volume of this down if you need to balance it a little bit more which is good that's something that you would expect out of any DAW I think that's enough about drums there's plenty of great drum samples in here if you go to drums you can go to either the one shots which are the individual drum kit pieces uh, such as your snare. It's really nice that they have it already set into crates as if you were in Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite. It's one thing I 
kind of despise about Logic a little bit is that it's really hard to find just a kick drum sample. Uh, it's super easy to do in Serato Studio here. So I will just drag it over to my kick. You can go through and try all these kicks out. There are plenty of samples in here too that you can use in the sampler. And what you can do is just like this, drag it in and you're ready to go with the sampler all set up. And you can drag a audio sample right on top of the old one to replace it, which is really nice as well. We have some effects here that you can add on as you would any effects in Serato DJ. So if you want to add effects, what you do is you click the effect and you can just do this. This is main crusher. So this is a uh, distortion here. And they all sound absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there's a lot of great presets that sound awesome that will really get your creative juices flowing uh, from the software. A quick tip for you, um, I tried out using Bluetooth headphones. I'm currently using just some desktop speakers because I don't have my monitors with me right now. It will not work well with Bluetooth headphones. I'm really not sure why. It sounds like absolute trash. So make sure if you're editing things with Serato Sample and you need some reference headphones or monitors, uh, use headphones that you can plug in because otherwise it's gonna sound like junk and you're not really gonna be able to use them for anything. You'd probably be better off with laptop speakers. You have your instruments as you would expect. So I'm gonna add one of these here. Again, tons of great uh, presets here for you, no matter what kind of music you're trying to make. And of course, for those of you that have something like Serum, uh, as I do, you can see I do have Serum plugged in here. You can use your external plugins. You can use both types. You can see also that all the Apple plugins that come with GarageBand and Logic are able to be used. Um, most of them aren't that amazing, uh, but you do have a few there. You can see your different projects. I only have one project going on right now here. Um, and you can also access your entire Serato library. And what you can actually do is sample from songs. So I just kind of threw the first song in here, but. Now, if you don't know, it used to be pretty common to sample from other people's music. And if there's something that you really like, then you can sample it and change it up. So that's more of a Serato sample kind of thing. You can access your entire library. Let's take a look at a different view now. I'm gonna shut the effects off and go over to song view. And this is where I have composed the track. I didn't put a lot into this. I just kind of threw it together, had a few ideas. So here's what I have. So I'll start right here at the end of the intro. Very basic, just drum this beat in. You have your 808 bass in there. Very, very good 808 bass in uh, Serato Studio here. You can see the waveform output down here in the master. Now, something I haven't toyed with too much that I'd like to is seeing if there's actually a way to add in a vocal track or something so that you can use, for example, stems uh, of a remix to produce a remix with Serato Studio. I'll see what I can do here. I'm thinking the only way to do that is to go in and see if there's a stem. Yeah, so luckily I have some stems left over from a remix I did with the intro. So theoretically, if it went longer, you could actually use it for that. This might be the point where you need to step it up and use an additional program like Audacity to get the actual stems set up and then take your beat and make it within Serato Studio and then overlap the two of them within Audacity. Overall, I think this is an awesome software, especially if you're a beginner music producer. 
uh, or if you're a DJ looking to get into production. The sounds are absolutely amazing and you can even use really good plugins. I don't think you're going to need to um, because if you're a beginner, which is really what this is for, you're probably not going to have any plugins unless there may be free plugins. But in the case that you do want to use plugins with it, you can. There is one slight downside and that is it is a subscription based software. In the short term, it's pretty cheap. You know, you can get a month for I think $10 or something. If you want just this Serato sample, I believe you can buy that outright. I think it's like a hundred bucks. And that's another great tool to use. I'd give this definitely a five stars as a beginner studio program or digital audio workstation software. They have a 15 day trial going for Serato Studio right now. If you already use Serato DJ Pro, you can log on, download the software and get the trial running very easily. If you're not already set up with a Serato account, then you'll have to make one to download it, but it's definitely worth it. I'd encourage you to go on to uh, serato.com, find Serato Studio, download it and try it out uh, right along there with Serato Sample. Uh, if you're looking to get into music production, definitely check out Serato Studio. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, drop me a comment in the comment section, or if you have any videos that you want to see, definitely let me know in the comment section. As always, please drop a thumbs up on the video so we can get good ratings, and hit that subscribe button to follow me for new videos all the time on a bunch of different topics related to business, production, and DJing. Thank you for watching. That's it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.